What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this lit video today. Y'all already know why we are here, okay? So a lot of you guys are like, man, did you see Leslie twerking in front of Josue on Josue's dad's Instagram story? All right, so once again, Chris Lee Gang is undefeated, okay? They are on her ass once again. Now, I don't understand why they're on her ass because at this point, we all know Chris went that way, Leslie went that way, okay? And to be fair, before we get into the video, like, comment, subscribe, all of that shit, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a angel mama to Uncle Joey's still a motherfucking hoe. Let's be fair about the situation, okay? We all know Leslie went backwards, okay? When I say Leslie went backwards, I mean that she actually went backwards, okay? And she went to go fuck with her ex, talk to her ex, or whatever the case may be, and it does seem like she's still having a good time with her ex, all right? They went from overseas to back in town, and now, you know what I'm saying, like, they cutting up, she having a great time, a lot of people are like, Josue look unbothered, or whatever the case may be. Look, Josue chilling, okay? He could be handling some business, he could be on IG, and also, you know what I'm saying, he's used to that girl, all right? He's used to her. They were dating for, you know, a while. That was her last long-term relationship that we know of, so, He's already used to that shit, okay? So, for the people like, oh, he's ignoring her, he don't give a fuck about her, whatever the case may be, that could be. There's also people saying that it could be a really friendly vibe, which is why he's not trying to grind up on her or anything like that, okay? But at the end of the day, man, you're seeing a snippet of somebody's life, a snippet, literally, not even a video. You're seeing a snippet, okay? Like, that little clip of them was maybe 30 seconds long, okay? It definitely wasn't a minute long of her just, you know, doing whatever the fuck dance that was, all right? Like, the chicken butt or something, all right? Because it wasn't twerking. Somebody help Leslie out, okay? Because that shit right there, my nigga, she needs to retire it. But hey, she's having a good time. She's out with family and friends. You know, what more can you ask for? So, I'm only kidding, Leslie, okay? If you see this video, I'm only kidding. But I'm not really kidding about the chicken dance, all right? I don't know what the fuck that is, but Chris was right when he said you can dance like merengue and salsa and all of that shit. But when it comes to twerking, that shit is just not hitting, okay? It's just not. But anyway, guys, um, so we know Leslie went backwards to her ex, okay? Great. But let's not act like my nigga Mr. For Christopher didn't go backwards as well, okay? I guess with everything going on, since Leslie went backwards, Chris wanted to go backwards too. And he went backwards in a different way, all right? If you watched my previous video on the reaction that I did of Shorty, all right? Like high off Xanax, drunk off weed. How do you, how are you drunk off weed? I don't know, but that's exactly what it seemed like she was, all right? Um, the whole interaction was just weird as fuck. <laughs> Like at this point, I don't know if you just picked her up off the street, if you picked her up off of Instagram like the night before and said, hey, this is the store we're going with, or if they really known each other for three years and they were friends for three years. And you know, I don't know, just the vibe is fucking weird. It's fucking weird, okay? I wasn't feeling the video. A lot of y'all weren't feeling, feeling the video. I do commend Chris for coming out with content, okay? He is trying to give people content, but at the same time, like, he can step outside of the box of, oh, I gotta have a bitch in my video. He did a public interview, and, you know, he was trying to, like, switch up his content a little bit. And when you do switch up your content, it is, like, gonna take some time to make that shift, all right? Because I blame it on YouTube, to be honest, guys. Because with the YouTube algorithm, it's kind of hard for a person with a channel who, say, you know, you got certain hit videos that really do well, okay? They're gonna recommend videos, like similar videos to that. So if you try to switch up your content and do something different, 
A lot of the times YouTube is not gonna push those videos like they push the videos that are similar to the ones that really hit on your channel. But I do feel like when Chris did that public interview, I mean, it didn't hit, hit, of course, but it still did okay. I think it was like at 14K the last time I checked. That's not bad at all. It's not bad, all right? And he did the little, the chick in the back seat, whatever, that's hit 20K, okay? Like if you're consistently doing, if you switch up your content a little bit and consistently start doing public interviews and stuff like that, and the funny videos that you were doing, like in Walmart and stuff like that, like people are going to start liking those videos more, you know? And one day, one of those videos are gonna hit and you'll attract a different audience. So I'm just trying to help Chris out a little bit, you know? Um, I understand the difficulties of trying to switch up your content. I also feel like Chris is very comfortable. So I applaud him for the moves that he was making as far as making those public interviews and stuff like that. I feel like we need more of that, okay? Even vlogs with his kids, or I don't even know where his kids are, but even vlogs with, you know, just like mental health maybe. Mental health vlogs, why not? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Speak about your mental health, speak about God, speak about, you know, like life changes that you're making and stuff like that. Um, go into the gym just working on yourself and becoming the best version of you. So I hope that helps Chris. You know, I know he'd be watching my videos here and there. You know, it just seems like he just wants to sell sex, sell sex, sell sex. Um, maybe it's the OnlyFans bread that he wants. I don't know, but I'm not gonna judge Chris, like I said, man. I do feel like he could be doing other things, but at the same time, I feel like that man is gonna do what that man's gonna do. And if he feels like that's gonna bring him in the most money, who am I to judge how he puts money in his pockets? You know, about the Leslie situation though, I do feel like, hey, you know, it, she's the cat's out of the bag. The gig is up, all right? The jig is up, the gig is up, whatever you call it. You know, you just gotta let the people be. I do wanna know in the comment section down below, do you guys feel like they are actually friends? Oh, this is another thing I wanted to say. Post Sway posted on his IG story that he's ready for his next small tattoo this week. Best tattoo artist in Orlando, tap in. No whack shit. Okay, so now he's saying again that he's ready for his next small tattoo, all right? So I don't know if this is hinting at the fact that him and Leslie are getting another matching small tattoo or if he just wants his own small tattoo. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel, but I do think that whole Sway is definitely soaking up the clout and attention that he's getting from the whole Chris and Leslie uh, saga. I can't even get on no machine, you feel me? working out. So 
But as y'all can see, there are some people questioning what happened with the raffle, what's going on with the raffle and all of that. And even a person who stated that they reached out to Leslie about the raffle and Leslie said that she had nothing to do with it, all right? Now, I don't know if this is really true. This hasn't been confirmed by Leslie or anything, but a supporter did say that they reached out to Leslie. Leslie said she had nothing to do with it. All right, so y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Like I said in the previous video, I do feel like it's very important to be honest and transparent with your audience, okay? Whether you fucked up or not, whether it didn't go as planned or not, you know, get them people their money back, all right? Don't play with people's money, especially when it's people who actually support you and trust you, all right? Especially when you've admitted to doing some scamming ass shit before. It's definitely important to be straight up and honest with your audience, okay? But let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I do feel like he needs to address it again. And even if it is not what people want to hear, he does need to be honest with his folks. Let me know how y'all feel, man. You out there, man, if you need some positive vibes, I love you. Stay uplifted. You are wonderful. You are worthy of every great thing that has happened in your life and every great thing that is coming into your life. And all the blessings that you have right here in this moment, you deserve all of them, okay? And all of the blessings that you received in the past, all of the blessings that you're going to be receiving in the future. Take care of yourself, guys. I want the best for y'all. I want y'all to grow. I want y'all to become the best version of y'all selves. I want y'all to just fucking be happy and have an enriching life manifest all the desires that you want in this life man we're here for a good time not a long time so guys let's just have fun with this shit i love you guys make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you hit that bell to be notified when i upload on my channel dm me lit reactions to do and tell a friend to tell a friend today ain't your mama today uncle joey still a hobble see you guys in the next mother freaking video when i lay y'all me we all baby